uh, the concept of the book, Zero Time Selling, why don't you uh, give us an idea why you uh, why you wrote this book? I'm sure it didn't come to you overnight, so. No, it didn't. I I would worked in tech for most of my career before I started my company in 2000, and I worked with a lot of startups and small companies, and we were always in this position of, of being the under-resourced company trying to sell an innovative technology solution. Sometimes I worked a lot in the satellite communications industry where we were selling very large, complex networks, you know, multi-million dollar networks against really big guys, Lockheed and Hughes and, and so on. And, and yet we won more than our fair share of the business. So it's really taking the lessons about you know, how you can really sell in such a way to differentiate yourself by how you sell your product. And so the product itself, right? Because, you know, we were this small company. How did we engender trust and credibility with our prospective customers? Hmm. So took that methodology and, you know, in my own business, I've worked with, you know, dozens of companies about, you know, similar type issues. And as it turned out, I had a period of time, I relocated to New York City, I had a period of time on my hands to actually write this book that had been in my head for a while. So I, two years ago, I sat down and did it. It's uh, it's not an easy process to write a book, obviously. So, hey, the uh, one of the major things that obviously you, you talk about and it's built around your philosophy is uh, the concept of MILT. And, mm-hmm. and uh, just uh, give us a give us uh, what, it, what who is Milt? What is Milt? And uh, and just explain it a little bit if you could, please. Right. So I came up with the name for the concept first. I mean, part of when you're writing a book is you're trying to come up with names for things that you've just sort of done instinctually, you know, so that you can train people on it. And and the concept is selling with maximum impact in the least time. And that gave the acronym M I L T Milt. And I'd had this idea of incorporating this character into my book that was sort of the voice of the reader. Uh, so an avatar for the reader who was there. And I got to points in the book where perhaps the readers might have questions as this character Milt would show up and ask the questions. But the concept of maximum impact in the least time is saying, look, you know, your customer has very limited time. You know, time's sort of the common denominator throughout the whole book is customers limited amount of time to invest in buying something from you. So when they give you your time, is you need to be able to convey the value and the information that you have in with maximum impact with the least investment of time on their part and on yours. And so that's where you know, the maximum impact, least time. And it really speaks to the fact that selling can't just be the sort of rote practice that you go through the same way with every prospect. It requires planning, it requires thinking, forethought. And yeah, I always tell people that selling is a thinking person's business because yeah, it gives you a chance to apply a lot of creativity to what you're doing. And so with selling with maximum impact, least time, you have to sit down and say, okay, what are we going to do on this next call that's going to be able to create and provide maximum value for the prospect while taking the least amount of our time and the least amount of their time? 